Oh my. What did you, you know? think it was? I mean, I'm not gonna say for sure. Uh, Think Fun makes clever logic games, and to celebrate the release of their new alien abduction game, they've challenged us to prank the unsuspecting public into believing a UFO has landed. Game on. Is it possible to convince people that a UFO is in front of them? It's, I don't think it takes much. I've seen a UFO. It was a light. Okay. And it flew weird, came through the sky really fast, stopped, and then everything lit up really bright and it flew off the other direction. And I was convinced at the time, UFO. You actually just hit on like three things that I think we need, like ingredients to make this believable. It needs to be something that flies in a weird or unnatural way. It needs to be kind of supported by other people believing that it's real too. The third thing is the location. I think where we do this is really key. The ideas seem simple, but getting those ideas Cashed out is not. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know. It's, I don't know. We've just arrived where we're supposedly gonna put up our UFO yeah. tonight. This doesn't look suspicious at all. I'm feeling the pressure. We don't have a lot of time. That sun's going down. I think it's gonna go up right about there. Okay, nice, like, like little dip. clearing, yeah, yeah, a little dip. Is this who we're gonna prank? I'm seeing folks over here. So that's who we have to convince. Got my uh, weird clothes to disguise myself. Yeah, he's like a gas station attendant. Slash sort of. Boy Scout. Yes, yeah, slash UFOologist. Works. Let's get our prank on. Let's do it. Woo! Drew and Joey are totally in disguise as park goers. They're gonna be capturing all of the footage on their iPhones. So the UFO goes up, it looks pretty good. All of a sudden, the lights kick off. Park is closing. Pitch black. Before we're ready. So we have to make a split second decision. Do we just give up, call the whole thing off, and try it another night? Or just go for it? And so I turned on my weirdest accent and caused some chaos. Same oh one. my god. My buddy over there is uh, filming it and it's like turning and it looks like it has like like smoke coming out from the bottom. Can I take a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. So that's it right there? That's it. What the oh. f is that? What is happening? Who are these guys? You guys just we go around like the United this. States and like look for this stuff or like Well, what? we we were we're based in Oklahoma, but we saw something near the Air Force base. We didn't know what it was, but it was kind of it was kind of doing this weird spin. We've been following this thing and we've got video of it over there and it's it's like turning around. Oh, it's a UFO. I think these people are believing it. They're starting to. This I saw in Oklahoma. Do you see how it's like spinning and stuff? That's the same thing up there. It looks just like the one that we saw. We noticed this movie. We didn't even like see like Did you see this? So what the f We've been it's following moving. this it's thing like, around. It's got like it's smoke a, coming out of it. What do you think it is? We have no idea. We came from Oklahoma because someone said the same thing was here and... No, look at that though. It looks Wait, weird. wait, so Oklahoma. were you like in the car like watching it like go across the sky? We kind of stopped and same here. thing. Like we follow, you know, forums about this type of stuff and people post when they see things. So it's moving. Like, well, or, or the government's made multiples of them. How do we call the Air Force? Some of these people are like really skeptical, they're kind of hanging back in the shadows, but a few of them are actually starting to believe it, I think. What are you guys going to do with this information? We're going to go Put post it. it. Where are you going to post it? the government. But like, what if it's not the U.S.? Oh, the Russians come over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's American, if it's terrestrial, if it's extraterrestrial. Like, I think it's an alien, but... It's crazy. That's a cop right there. Uh, and they guys, park closed at 10 o'clock. Oh, oh okay. we thought it was 11, but we saw this crazy light up in the sky. It's wild. <laughs> I think it's gone. In the light. <laughs> and as I learned from the cop, um, it was a UFO. Because he's like, we don't know what it is, right? And I'm like, no. He's like, well, then it's unidentified. And it's flying, right, son? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's up there flying. He's like, it's a UFO. Now leave the park. <laughs> Do we need to leave? What's up? Do we need to leave? Yeah, if you guys could pack up. 
head out here shortly, okay? Okay, yeah, right, no guys. problem. We'll Thank just, you. We'll grab all of our stuff. All right, have a good night. All right. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> we got him though, man. That looked pretty legit. Hundred <laughs> percent. The kids in this country need an education like uplift. <laughs> Whoa, because they all thought that was a UFO. Maybe we convince people we're not really sure what we got, but then all of a sudden, pickup truck slows down and kind of gives us a little look. And these kids were hyped. Did you see it? Did yeah, you it see just the, went down. Yeah, yeah, we were really watching it. Like the blue light turned off, and then we just saw a red light. And a red it, light? And then mm -hmm. it went back to the blue light. Yeah. It looks like it's just right beyond those yeah. trees That's over there. Because well, we, we went, went over to, to the apartments, apartments yeah. over here, and we, it was like directly in front of us. So the way we were pivoting, it was, it's like right over those trees, like a little bit over. They went chasing around this UFO. They became UFO hunters on their own. What do you think that what is, the then? Oh my, that's like some alien <laughs> But we were like right over there and you'd see it. It like, it, and I was doing this to it. I was like flashing it and like, it like turned coming closer to us. Are you serious? Yeah, I was doing this to it. It was coming was closer? Like, oh, we haven't seen it We move. totally missed that. Cause some people think we're kind of no. crazy, but. No, 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 I, I saw did. that I mean, you see it on the video. I saw that like, these like, no, I'm not seeing what we just saw. We just saw I it. I saw that Yo. I feel like it's a UFO or it's something the government has that we don't know about. Yeah. What did you, you know? think it was? I mean, I'm not going to say for sure. I'm, gonna I'm just going to say it. it. It looks like aliens. I don't know. I, didn't, like, I, don't know. Like, I feel like I'm in a movie, you know? Yeah. yeah. Totally sold. Challenge completed. Check. Okay. I think we totally fooled those kids with our UFO prank, but you'll never guess how we did it. I promise I'm gonna show you, but first, check out this game, Invasion of the Cow Snatchers. Afterwards, I'll show you how we pulled off this UFO prank. All right, check out the game. My daddy did it, his daddy did it before him. I guess you could call it a family business. There's a reason you Earthlings have the phrase, cash cow. Let me assure you that we believe in the ethical abduction of cows. We only use organic tractor beams. We can't say what the real motivation for an alien abduction is, but in this logic game, the question isn't why, but how. Invasion of the Cow Snatchers puts you in the pilot seat of a UFO. Your goal is to navigate your craft around the farmer's field and collect all of the cows, saving the Red Bull for last. To begin, choose one of the 60 challenge cards from the deck and place the magnetic pieces on the game grid so that it matches the card. Then slide your UFO over the clear cover to beam up your cows with a satisfying magnetic snap. Mm, best feeling in the world. Your UFO must dodge obstacles such as hay bales, fences, crop rows, a barn, and a silo. As your herd of heifers heaps up, turning the corner around the fences gets even harder. So think carefully about taking the right path in the right order or your cow collection becomes ground beef. Once you've collected your cow cargo, it's time to beam up the bull and head back to Mars for a victory lap. With dozens of puzzles available in skill levels ranging from easy to downright genius, there's something for everybody, and plenty of puzzling to keep your mind working until the cows come home. Buy Invasion of the Cow Snatchers and hundreds more gifts at vat19.com. So our overall prank is pretty simple. There's two parts to it. One, we've got a balloon in the sky with a light on it that's spinning around. The second part, is an animation pre-recorded on the camera. When people come over to the camera, they think that what they're seeing on the camera is what's up in the sky. We are the alien squad. UFO pilots right here. Most of the crew is gonna be in the park setting up this whole scenario, and Kara and I are gonna hide behind the tree line and raise up our life. The idea is we blow up the balloon. When we get it blown up, we spray paint it black so no one can see it. And then we attached a really bright LED light on it. Kara, your level of confidence seems kind of low. Yeah, it's it's got to be great. That's a pretty big balloon. Don't let go. Here is our balloon that we've mostly painted black. Yeah, so we just went over there. We helped them finish spray painting the balloon. It's, it's really black. We were driving away, we couldn't see it. Like, yeah, it disappeared as we were driving away into like the dark. So the idea behind the turntable is that we can attach the balloon and it will help it rotate. We're about to attach the LED lights. This light that we ordered for this is, is crazy bright. It's insanely bright. We're all hooked up. 
All we gotta do now is tie a big long piece of fishing line to our turntable, to the balloon, and hope there's not a lot of wind. This thing looks insane. Holy cow. It's lighting up the whole ground. It looks like a UFO from here. Danny's turning the turntable on. I mean, that looks like a UFO with it pulsing like that. I did not expect this to look so good. The real hero of this whole thing is probably Adam, because he made the animation that really kind of it sold it. sealed it, you know, sold it. Going into it, the best case scenario for me was just that people would be like, I don't know what that is, but we actually got people to say, that's a UFO. They thought it was aliens. <laughs> we did it. It was a light on the end of the balloon. <laughs> we just rolled up to shoot our UFO hoax. We didn't bring any tripods. How did we forget the tripod? <laughs> Who forgets the tripod? We're a video <laughs> production company for crying out loud, and no one brings a tripod for the camera. Bat